Hey guys, um, I've got some empties for you. And a bag of eyeworks bag. Okay, jumping right in. As always, you, you guys know I use these. These are the um, Swiss Burs, uh Cotton Rounds. I just get these at Walmart and they are fantabulous. I love them. I use them for everything. You know the spiel. I've done it multiple times. Okay, um, so the next thing is a dandruff conditioner. Um, it's by Image Essentials. I think it's just kind of like a generic brand from like Walmart or something. Um, but I have really bad dandruff and nothing has worked. So if you guys know anything that um, works really well for dandruff, then please let me know because I've used so many different things. Um, speaking of that, I used up, this is just the tin from it, uh, but I used up a Lush, uh, it's, it's like a shampoo bar, um, it was called Soak and Float, um, this is the remaining remainder of what it looks like, um, I, I couldn't use it up anymore because these little bits are so small and they started breaking apart on me. Um, so it's getting really difficult to use, but I'm keeping this in. I'm just gonna throw this this way. I just kept it together for storage reasons. But um, I finished that up, and it's supposed to help for dandruff, but it didn't. You know, as always. So the next thing is um, or are these Equate uh, Pink Grapefruit Oil-Free Cleansing Palettes? Um, it says compared to Neutrogena Oil-Free cleansing wipes. Um, these are okay. I was not a huge fan of these. Um, they smell good, but whenever you, whenever I was done using it on my face, it really um, made my face feel weird. Like, I don't, I don't know. It felt like it left like a film over my face, and even if I used these, I had to wash my face afterwards. They're like I couldn't I couldn't just use those and then be done with it. Um, I had to wash my face afterwards, so I probably won't repurchase those. But yeah. Um, okay, so the next thing is this Tresemme Fresh Start um, Dry Shampoo. It's for oily um, to normal hair, and this actually isn't empty, but. For whatever reason, the spray nozzle doesn't work anymore. Like, I don't know what happened. And it just, it doesn't, it's not a mist anymore. It's like a stream, you know? So, I have to, <laughs> I have to throw this away because I can't use it, you know? Um, and what really makes me mad is that I also have a miniature hairspray from Tresemme and the exact same thing happened. Like, exact same thing. And I actually don't have it um, here because it broke while I was at home and I just threw it away there instead of bringing it back to my college. Um, but anyway, so I didn't mind this when I did use it. So I might repurchase it in the future, but I'm really upset that the packaging kind of broke on me. <laughs> Next thing in here is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strip. And these are pretty awesome. Um, I really like these. There are eight in here. Um, and it's kind of expensive for just eight, but I don't use them every night. I use them maybe like once a week. Um, but I've actually, these lasted a very long time because I kind of forget about them. Um, because it's not in my like normal daily routine. So I kind of forgot about them. But, um, yeah, these are really good and I will be repurchasing these later on. Next I have um, this Warm Vanilla Sugar um, Cream Body Wash with Triple Moisture Complex. I loved this stuff. It smells so good and it's just amazing. Um, I'm really sad that I, I don't think they have these normally, like the cream Creamy Body Wash with Triple Moisture Complex. I don't think I see these a lot. Um, I've been looking for more, but I don't I don't know where these are. Um, I'm going to have to keep looking because I will repurchase this if I can find it um, in this scent or in another scent as well. I really like that. The next thing I have are these J-Cat eyelashes. 
Um, I tried to use these ones. You can kind of tell that this one's a little bit messed up in the packaging, but I tried to use them. I couldn't do it, and even if I could, they didn't fit my face right. It was just really weird, so I'm just going to throw these away because no one else is going to use them because I've already kind of mangled them. So, those are going bye-bye. And, okay, I have a little eyeshadow palette thing here. Obviously, it's not empty, but I got it from, it's just like a, um, I got it from Marsh, um, and it's just like a generic, like, maybe Marsh brand, I don't know, but, like, the pigmentation on these things suck, and it's, like, patchy, like, the white's not bad, but, like, these two colors, like, they're so patchy, and they're not pigmented, like, every single one of the purples, like, look, you can't even see it on my hand, in the blue, like, you can't even see it. Um, so I am throwing this out because it just is terrible and not worth my time. Alright, next I have this, um, Miss Jessie's Quick Curls packet. I still have product in here, um, but I didn't like it at all. Um, using this cream, I felt like I had, to, I felt like whenever I used it on damp hair and just let it air dry, I still felt like I had to, I didn't wash my hair. It felt dirty and gross and I didn't like it all. It felt greasy and nasty. So, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use this, the rest of this, and I'm not gonna purchase it. Okay, next is the High Performance Hair Care Shampoo by number four. Um, and I really like this actually. Um, it didn't quite lather like a normal shampoo would, um, but I actually really liked this, and it's a really nice size, um, and it was really cool too because I did get a hair mask with it that I think I showed you guys in the last one um, that actually worked really well as well. Um, so I just love these those two together, um, and I'm so excited that I got this in my birch box. Next up is the Amika Nourishing Hair Mask, um, and this is, um, it says it deeply conditions and repairs hair, um, it's for all hair types, and I really liked this as well. It smells fresh, um, it, it smells florally and fresh, um, and I really liked it, I might repurchase it in the future, um, but I really like hair masks, and I like this one as well. Next up, I have a wallflower, and once again, I don't remember the scent. I don't remember the scent. Um, but I did finish one. Um, actually, you know what? I finished two, but the second one, I literally took out this morning, and our, I took it out last night, and I don't know where it is. I literally don't know. I don't know where I put it. Um, it just disappeared on me, so I'll probably find it around my room somewhere, but I did finish two. Next up, I have the Curly Hair Solutions Curl Keeper. Um, I got this sample in a birch box, and again, I did not like it. It made my hair feel frizzy, or not frizzy, it made my hair feel greasy um, when I used it, and it just wasn't, it wasn't good at all. It wasn't nice feeling. Um, I couldn't use it anymore. There's still product in here and I couldn't use it anymore. So there's that. Last thing is a makeup product. Um, and it is the Hard Candy. Um, it's purple mascara. It says ginormous lash volumizing mascara. Um, and it was just purple with this huge wand. Um, but it's not like it's not empty. It's not dried out or anything. But I just don't use this. I bought this when I was in high school. Um, I was like, I am never going to use purple mascara anymore. I haven't used it in years, so I'm just going to throw it away, get rid of it, get it out of my collection, um, declutter, basically. So, there's that, um, it's being thrown away. And that is everything in my bag. It's empty. And I do have a couple things that are on the verge of being empty, but obviously today is June 1st. So if I finish anything else, it's going to be in next month's video. Um, but I hope you guys like this, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!